crime alert. A convicted rapist from Mobile will soon be released from prison. David Cooley was serving two consecutive life sentences for the brutal rape and kidnapping of two women in 1997. He was granted parole yesterday after serving 20 years of his sentence. News 5's Katarina Lukatic sat down today with the Mobile County District Attorney who thinks the parole board made the wrong decision. For the second time in three months, Ashley Rich drove to Montgomery to fight the parole of David Cooley. He's a sexual predator, and now he'll be back in our community. Rich says she proved to the parole board in September Cooley's defense presented fake letters alleging to be from his victims saying they forgave him. But Wednesday, one of his victims actually attended the hearing to tell the board she's moved on. The board granted Cooley parole after serving 20 years of a double life sentence. Even though a victim may have testified for the defense, it is our, my job as the district attorney to make sure that our community is safe and to make sure that defendants are held accountable for their actions and their sentences. So who makes these parole decisions? As we uncovered in a News 5 investigation in November, the Alabama Parole Board is made up of three members appointed by the governor. No corrections or law enforcement experience is required for members. Two are lawyers, one is a businessman. Rich fears the board is letting too many dangerous criminals go free. I'm not happy with the actions of the parole board, and they are continuing to let prisoners out earlier and earlier and earlier. And while Cooley has been granted parole, Rich says this will not stop her from fighting to ensure dangerous criminals are not allowed back on the streets. In Mobile, Katarina Lukatic, News 5.